Hello, lead entry staking went live two days ago, currently yielding between 80 to 100% APR, so let me show how to stake your lead tokens. You can only stake lead that you hold on lead entry parachain, so Ethereum's ERC20 version of lead tokens cannot be staked at the moment. Also, it is only possible to stake unlocked lead, so before staking, make sure to unlock all your vested lead from the crowd loan. You can do so here on the lead entry web app, here select lead entry, connect your wallet. Here click claim, then claim tokens and sign. You can also unlock your vested lead on Polkadot.js app. Click this button, then unlock vested amount. Sign and submit and sign with your password. Now you can stake lead in two different ways. One is pretty easy, the other more difficult. The easy one is through this lead entry staking dashboard on Web3Go app. The more difficult way is via this Polkadot.js app. Lead Entry team recommends staking via Web3Go app, so let's see. On the home page, click Lead Entry Staking tab, and here is the list of all collators, at this moment 9 collators. I noticed this Web3Go interface is a bit off with the browser zoom at 100%. When I decrease to 80, alignment of the site is fixed, though it might only be issue on my laptop. Currently the minimum bond for each collator is 50 lit. You can see right now it shows the estimated APR over 400% for most collators, but displayed APR is not accurate. Lit entry team on Telegram said the APR will become more accurate after around 10 rounds. I calculated APR manually based on my received rewards so far and in fact the APR is between 80 to 100% at the moment. As for which collators to stake with, Lead Entry Team will release more details about the collators and about which are verified by Lead Entry Team. Remember, it's always smart to diversify your stake on multiple collators to average your staking rewards and minimize the negative consequences of choosing a bad collator. To delegate your lead, click delegate, add the lead amount, hit confirm and sign. Once you are staking, you can check your stake and rewards here under my stake tab. I'm already staking with two collators, Web3Go and Polkadotters, but please do your own research about lead entry collators. And here you will see your lead stake and here you can delegate more. You can review your received staking rewards under Reward History tab. You will see all received rewards from all delegations. Rewards are being distributed directly to your lead entry wallet and since the APR is currently very high, you might generate quite a substantial rewards every day, so don't forget to delegate your lead rewards again. Rewards are being paid out every round, which lasts roughly 6 hours. At the moment, Web3Go dashboard does not support unstaking nor decreasing lead delegation, but it should arrive soon. So for now, if you wish to unstake or decrease your delegation, you will need to use Polkadot.js app. Here is the instructions how to decrease and how to revoke delegation from all the collators or from just one. I'll leave the link in the description. If you unbond your lead, it will take around 7 days for the tokens to become transferable and you will continue to receive rewards while unstaking is pending. Balance transfers are not yet enabled on lead entry parachain, so you cannot transfer a lead from one account to another. If you hold lead tokens on exchanges and are planning to withdraw them so that you can stake, there is a small inconvenience because at the moment exchanges don't support native lead tokens. That means you cannot withdraw lead from exchanges via lead entry parachain. I checked KuCoin and Binance and both support only ERC20 version of lead, meaning you can only withdraw lead to Ethereum wallet. But remember, to be able to stake, you need to hold the native lead tokens on lead entry parachain. So you will have to withdraw lead via Ethereum network to your MetaMask Ethereum wallet. The withdrawal fee on Qcoin is 5 lit, on Binance 4 lit. Also make sure to add token contract address to display a lit token on your MetaMask. You can watch my video how to withdraw crypto from exchanges in the top right. Once you hold lit tokens on Ethereum, you can transfer them from Ethereum to lit entry parachain through lit entry app. Again first select lit entry and click token transfers. On your MetaMask switch the network to Ethereum and connect MetaMask. I hold no lit on Ethereum, that's why. Here paste your lead entry address, add the amount of lead to transfer and click request access. Remember you will need to hold some ETH on your Ethereum wallet to cover the transaction fee. Once you hold lead on lead entry parachain you can stake. Conversely, if you wish to transfer a lead from lead entry parachain to your Ethereum wallet, select here from lead entry to Ethereum. Here select your lead entry wallet that you are transferring from, enter your receiving Ethereum address. Enter the amount to transfer and click preview and submit. The bridging fee is currently 10 lit. 
Despite the fee, I would always recommend trying out the transfer with a small amount first. That's been it, thank you for watching and see you next time.